Well, before we get to your daily dose of cuteness, we wanted to share this heartwarming story with you first. Yeah, West Michigan community driving out of their way for years to say hello to their neighbor. Here's Riley Mack with this inspiring story. On the melted snow of Pontaluna Road in Norton Shores, traffic always floods. That may be caused by Walter. There you go. Who waves? My grandpa owns all this land between here and the fire hydrant down there, so my dad inherited this. For one third of his life, Walter Strickler has been on his lawn chair. Mondays through Friday, 3.15 to 5.30 in good weather, and sometimes on Saturday. Clocking in for his full-time job, <laughs> sending goodness in waves. It makes their day, it makes them smile, they're, they're glad to see me. Everybody needs, needs a little bit of encouragement. This year, suddenly Walter the waver. <laughs> became more. You kind of think, oh, that's so cute. <laughs> and then as I realized, he really makes my day. We definitely rely on him. For Deborah Larson, who lives one mile down the road. <laughs> that's what people do. They go by and honk when they see him waving. Walter means home. As soon as I turn at the light there, I look to see if he's out and I'm so excited and I'm honk on my horn and waving. It was his day she wanted to brighten next. I had posted on Facebook that I thought that everybody should send him Christmas cards. I couldn't believe all the responses that I got. I didn't realize so many people thought about it the same way that I did. Now 75 years old, Walter requires a walker to get to his chair. But nothing could keep him from his mailbox every morning this season. I hope they bring him joy and that he's not alone. I would love that he is acknowledged for all that he does for our community. Totally surprised. Took me an hour to read him. A man of few words. Yeah. A gesture that speaks for itself. We all have ministers of some type. This is mine.